Hey everyone, welcome to Travel Therapy Guide's 5 minute or less video tutorials. Today we are going to be talking about a very common question, which is why do travel therapy pay rates differ? You may be starting to find that with different companies and different assignments, you are getting pay rates that are different. And so I'm going to talk about some of the factors that are causing that difference. So here's a couple factors that may result in different compensation. One is the type of setting. Certain settings just have, make more money or have more money to be able to fund your uh, pay rate more. So the highest pay setting is often in the inpatient side, the acute care side, but that can really vary based on the other factors I'm going to talk about too. But the type of setting may have more money, and so you may be able to uh, get more compensation based on the type of setting. The second is that um, pay rate may differ based on the facility's demand or need and the pay rate they provide to the traveling company. So the travel company uh, gets paid by the facility that is hiring someone to work for them. And so that facility gives the travel company a lump sum of money out of which they divvy it to the recruiter, to the other people at the travel company, and then finally to you. So the pay rate that the facility gives them will really affect the pay rate that you're going to receive. And their demand and need for a traveler is going to make that pay rate either higher or lower. Third is location and cost of living. So certain locations are going to naturally have a very high cost of living, very expensive lifestyle, say New York or California, and uh, companies and facilities understand that, and they will pay, I wouldn't say accordingly, but I would say they are going to pay more because of that slightly higher cost of living. Experience will often come with increased compensation. I don't see a big, big difference in experience. Usually after you have done several traveling um, assignments, then you'll get a pay raise of maybe one to two dollars an hour. That's going to come up to be, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month. But I don't see a big, big difference. But certain uh, types of experience can really, really make your pay rate different. So say you're a lymphedema specialist or, you know, for speech therapy, they do special swallow tests. That may be really sought after, so then you could definitely get more compensation based on that. And so that, that, that goes with the special credentials. Also with special credentials, any special languages you have. If you're in a very um, Latin community and you speak Spanish, um, it, that may really help with your higher ability and your compensation as a result. So experience in special credentials can increase your compensation. And then lastly... Um, recruiter salary and what I mean by that is how much your recruiter is taking out of that total pot of money is obviously going to affect your compensation. So these are the six things that six main things I should say that will affect your pay rate and your compensation. So you can use this to find your future traveling jobs and, and talk to the recruiter and ask for the highest pay setting or the highest paid facilities that they normally get contracts in or what are the highest paying locations and what experience do I need to get paid more what have you seen that is going to help me get a higher compensation and your recruiters are really going to be able to provide you a wealth of knowledge in that because they've been around the block they see this they see different um, job opportunities and the different pay rates and so they're a wonderful resource to talk to about that but you can use this list to uh, hopefully get you more money in the future if you have any more questions, you can go to debtfreept.com or get my complete guide on Amazon. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.